Hey folks, Angie here. Welcome back to the channel. I had something else planned for today, but I did have a question come in on custom categories. So I wanted to address that because that is something that is important to know. I also want to make sure that you understand it. So it's much easier to make sure that your codex is well organized. So let's go ahead and we'll go into this file here. And I'll be going through this project with you guys in the next video. This is a project that is a uh, pulp noir. And I started with just the framework and built it up from there. So I'm really excited to walk you through this. But let's go ahead. And uh, so if we were to create a new entry, here are our options. So we've got character, we've got location, we've got object or item, we've got lore, subplot, other. So let me show you how I make these custom categories. It's actually right here. This gear icon right next to a new entry is where we're going to go and we're going to come down here to custom categories. I already have some custom categories in this book file. I've got framework, story, outline, as well as I'm going to be adding character attributes with you today. This is something brand new that I'm adding today. Uh, I went up here. I hit new. I added the name, which is character attributes. This associated tag is what you're going to assign to the codex entry so that your novel crafter knows that it is associated with this character attributes. And then if you come down here, associated types, I don't normally change them. I usually leave them as they are the, de the default. I put codex entries that don't fit anywhere else in other, but you can just go ahead and leave it as it is. Now, the final option you have on this page is color. You don't have to use color. It's an optional thing that you can do. If you want to change your color, you can come over here and go back to not having one. I just assigned red. And I like to use colors so that I can spot things a little bit easier when I'm you know, flipping through the codex, um, especially with the framework and the outline. So I want to make sure that I can see them. And I usually stick with the same colors. One other thing I want to mention is, so let's say you have quite a few different categories here. And so let's go ahead and type in story. So if you type in the search box, uh, you can find the one you're looking for. And okay, great. There it is. Now, if I would close this and come back up here and open it again, all I would see is story. So where did the rest of my codex entries go? Well, it's because I still have this up here. You need to make sure that you clear the search box. Otherwise, you can't see all of your categories. So let's go and we're going to apply the character attribute, which again, the tag is attribute to our character attributes. So let's scroll down here. Now I've got appearance and communication for quite a few of my characters. And these are attributes of my characters. So they don't go in characters, but they're part of the character. So I want to have them in a different section. So now if I click on, let's start with Bishop here. And I come over here and go to add. Attribute is not here. So the first time that you come in here and you go to apply a tag, you're not going to be able to find it in the list. It's not going to be there. So what you're going to have to do is put in the tag manually. Okay, now we can see it's red and this part up here is red as well. And if we come up here, then it is up here at the top. So character attributes. So now if I go and I want to do his communication style, come here to add and look, there it is, attribute. So I can just go through here and really quickly Make sure I don't hit the wrong one. Oh, I'd see, I just did that. Antagonist, it's actually an attribute, not an antagonist. Okay, so that is how we go in and sign attribute and attribute and attribute. Okay. 
So now, if I scroll all the way to the top, now all of my character attributes are here. One thing I don't really like about this is that the custom categories are in alphabetical order. So I would actually rather have my framework be the first thing. So if I want that to happen, I just have to make sure I don't put anything that starts with A through E. So that's not really going to happen. Let's say I I don't really want to have char character attributes in here. I want to go ahead and put them back in the uh, other section. So I'll come back up here, go down to custom categories, come here to character attributes and hit delete category. It's going to confirm, are you sure you want to delete this category? I say yes, delete, and it's no longer up here in the list. Now, if we go back to the codex entries that were previously in that custom category, you'll see that the tag is actually still here. So if you decide to add it back later, it will go back into the custom category if, when you re-add it, as long as it has the same tag, or you can go in here and just delete it out. So that's totally up to you. Now, that's about it for custom categories. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead and put them into the comments, and I'll follow up with you guys later. Have a great day.